<sighs> what if I freeze during the performance? If I pass out on stage, the farewell party will be ruined. <gasps> what if the phantom appears in here? My angel, please protect me. Christine, the time is near for the world to hear your voice. Why is it that you are shivering? My angel, I am so afraid. I was talking about the phantom with my friends just now. Then I heard that Mr. Bouquet, who's been talking about the phantom, has been found dead. I also heard a funeral march played by a pipe organ, which doesn't exist in this opera house. I'm so petrified. What if the phantom comes to kill me? A phantom? The phantom of the opera. <laughs> Christine, there is no such thing as phantoms. Hence, there is no such thing as the phantom of the opera. What? Is that true, my angel? Do you doubt my words? N no, I was just... My dearest Christine, from now on, pay no mind to such absurd nonsense. All you need to focus on is the heavenly music. Tonight, sing and make your father proud. I wish for nothing more. But I am confused after everything that's happened today. What should I do? Christine, you must listen to my words. You shall not... Pardon me. Let me try again. You shall let nothing trouble you. Focusing only on your song. Forget about all earthly matters. Let go of all earthly relationships. And never love any man of this earth. But, Angel... My words may sound cruel, but you must be strong. You have a big performance coming up. If you allow earthly matters to distract you, your father will be devastated. No, I can't let him down. Whoop. A angel of Music. The Angel of Music tells Christine to never let any earthly matters let her heart stray. The Angel of Music aggressively asserts that the Phantom of the Opera does not exist to. Move to a safe spot. My songs. Mr. Dae. This information... This is information about a fictional character. Christine Dae's father was from Sweden. He was a poor farmer and once his wife died, leaving six-year-old Christine behind, he sold everything he had except for his violin and left for the city. Um, they traveled through southeast Sweden as he played the violin and Christine sang. The performance was not too so successful. However, in 1869, uh, he met Professor Valerius and his wife, who realized Mr. Day and Christine have artistic talents. After this, he lived in Paris with Christine and her step-parents. His given name is unknown, as Christine Daae has never mentioned it to anyone at the Opera House. Mr. Daae was laid to rest in 1877 after suffering from homesickness, among other diseases. May he rest in peace. Uh, father, if you hadn't sent him for me, I would never have made such progress. I will make him proud. Father, I thank you with all my heart. Please, watch over me from above. Yes, your father shall be proud of you. Forget all earthly matters and devote yourself wholly to your heavenly music. I don't know, holly? Uh, what is that? Let nothing trouble you and let nothing be worthy of your love. For that, 
will bring you closer to heavenly music, yes, yes, and your father. My angel. I shall be at the stage myself to hear you sing. Show those blind fools everything I've taught you. Christine, sing before me. Sing only for me. Yes, my angel. I will obey to your words. This looks like Harry Potter, Ron Weasley and Harry's dad or something. <laughs> what is this? <clears throat> I can do this. I must be courageous. <sighs> but still afraid. Even if there's no phantom, that doesn't change anything that's happened. All of a sudden it's over. Why is the footnote section? Angel of Music. The Angel of Music has a deep connection to Christine's father. He doesn't have anything? And uh, Christine? This is the... Phantom of the Opera and this is the Angel of Music, okay. Phantom story. Uh, Christine believes that her father was the reason the Angel of Music has come for her. Yeah, so her father sent this angel to help her. Where is New Marguerite? Yes, I've never seen the theater so noisy. Five footnotes. After a while, the curtains went up for Faust. With Count Raoul de Chagny and his older brother Count Philippe de Chagny were at the box watching the special performance. Christine Day was singing Marguerite's aria, the Jewel Song. She looks very invested. If I can just show too much of the song, so I will just continue, right? My word, her singing is so beautiful. Christine, I never thought I would get to see you singing on the stage. You are breathtaking. Do you like the opera, Faust? As a member of the Chagny family, you must be a connoisseur of these performances. Oh, I'm thrilled to have come here tonight. To see Christine again like this. What should I say? Will she be surprised? I hope Christine remembers me. You hope Christine remembers you? You know that singer? Raoul, you've been at the Naval Academy for a long time, haven't you? Uh, is there something you're not telling me? Philippe, that's... Oh, Christine's face. Uh. Philippe, look over there. Doesn't Christine look tired? You're the one who's look, looks tired, child. <laughs> English. Is something wrong? Philippe, I should go see Christine after the performance. I'm worried about her. Fine. For now, focus on the performance. I won't bother. This too shall pass. Christine, I never thought I'd see you again like this. Didn't I just say that? Woo! Yay! Great performance! Woo! Count Philippe! What a Philippe! I don't know. Philippe de Chagny. 40 years, uh, 40 years old, the Count de Chagny. He is the older brother of Raoul de Chagny. The Count is the head of one of the most influential families in Paris. He keeps two tomcats and five hounds at his mansion. 
Relationship with Raoul. No, Margaret, uh, the Count brought his brother to the opera house in order to help him relax a bit during his brief visit to Paris. And... Raoul? 20 years old, Viscount de Chagny. Despite his boyish charm, he's an officer of the French Navy. He's enjoying a six-month leave of absence in Paris prior to going on an expedition to the Arctic. His brothers, and, uh, his brother and sisters are all much older than him. His parents died when Raoul was still young. He graduated from the military academy with distinction and has sailed around the world. But there's like no relationship with his brother or something. Great. It's good to know. What is this? It's... Okay. There are... Two footnotes right there. The Chagny family. This is about a fictional family. The Chagny family is one of the most influential families in Paris in 1880. The pri uh, they pride themselves on their lineage, having produced many great admirals. The second sons of the Chagny family, who do not enjoy the power and privilege afforded to the eldest son, seem to share a certain obsession with the sea. Since his youth... The Count must have been under immense pressure to play the unwanted role of parent to his siblings, but at least he never forced his brother to attend the military academy. When his sisters married, not only did he pay out an incredible sum as dowry, but he also built each of them a new villa. What's more, most members of the Chagny family are said to have a certain trait that is apparent to all that see it. The hair color or... Faust, the play. Didn't we already read about that? Or maybe no, maybe that was the aria, right? The jewel song. First published in 1808, this play was written by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. Faust is the protagonist of a classic German legend, Goethe's play. Faust was based on this historical character. The play depicts a man's purpose, endeavors, and salvation in life based on Christian morals. To summarize very briefly, the story concerns the fate of Faust in his quest for the, 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 for the true essence and meaning of life, in spite of the devil Mephistopheles who makes a bet with Faust and tries to destroy his soul. Once Faust is content, he will shout, Ah, linger on, thou art so fair, and be defeated by the devil. Then he shall be damned to hell, where his soul is seized by Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles, I'm sorry. What happens in the end, I shall not spoil for the readers. The second part is much more complicated than the first, so Gounod's opera Faust was adapted from only chapter one. Faust has inspired uncountable artistic and cultural works over time. It is rather interesting to find which other works were inspired by Faust, although it took a very long time. Kid. Let's talk to Christine, okay. We have to go to the dressing room, I assume. It's box five. Count Chagny is waiting for the Viscount outside. Oh, right. Because that's that's our family's private box. Because it was in here, now he went out. And that's why we're in the hallway here. Okay. <laughs> I was a bit confused why we started here. But it makes sense. I'm just an idiot. We have to go to the dressing room. But uh, we will first... Um, Why is he down here? He went before us outside of the box? Okay, it's weird. You're back. How was the opera? First act wasn't great without Margaret, but after that Christine was amazing. What? Did you even appreciate the opera? Philippe, let's go see Christine right now. Stop being silly. You are a Chagny after all. Yes, sir. So when are we going to see Christine? Wait, Sorelli's coming. <laughs> Count Philippe, did you like the performance? How was it? We talk with the same voice. Sorelli, you were beautiful on stage. Really? Thank you. Raoul, this is my lover Sorelli. Nice to meet you, Sorelli. Count Philippe, who is this? He looks barely older than I am. Oh, don't tell me he's your secret. Yes, Sorelli. I'm Philippe's, I mean, Count Chagny's first son. We don't look very alike, do we? C Count Philippe, is that true? 
Raoul, don't be a fool. I'm sorry, Philippe, it was just a joke. A joke? Well, your joke could make a family a laughing stock. Do you want that? I apologize, sir. I'll watch myself. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought you two were father and son. My brother and my sisters are much older than me, Sorelli. And my brother hasn't been able to get married because he's been taking care of me for 20 years. Oh, I was so surprised. Sorelli, this is my younger brother, Viscount Raoul de Chagny. He's my youngest sibling. I brought him up like my own child. Come on, brother. Count Philip, I was headed to Christine's dressing room. Would you like to join? If you wouldn't mind. In that case, follow me. I can stay with you after seeing Christine. Let's go then. Raoul, I'll go ahead with Sorelli. Will you be able to find your way to the dressing room? Christine Dye's dressing room is upstairs to the right. Don't worry, I can find my way. He still sees me as a five-year-old boy. Christina, I want to see you. Whee! Uh, Raoul and Philippe. <laughs> look, it's written wrong all of a sudden. Look more like father and son than brothers. I mean, when you look that much older. Oh, no, the Count is a lover of Sorelli, the principal dancer. The Count is Sorelli's lover, the principal. The, okay, yeah, clean. Just take the stairs up, turn right, and Christine will be there. Belle Epoque. Hello? The, <laughs> the Belle Epoque was a period of Western history dating from the end of the Franco well, Franco Prussian War in 1871 to the outbreak of World War One in 1914. It means beautiful era in French, and the period was characterized by optimism, regional peace, technological and cultural innovations. The Golden Age was made possible through exploiting its colonies or workers, but such aspects are seldom talked about. To ones who remember this age as, a, as Belle Epoque, it surely was the beautiful era. And we're not talking about all the people who suffered. Pshht. <laughs> Raoul, what took you so long? Oh, I didn't think we'd be able to see each other again. <sighs> Philippe, please hurry, I must see Christine. I thought he was talking to him, but he's talking about Christine. Oh, I wasn't expecting to see her. I saw her earlier, but only briefly. It's still crowded, so wait until all the people have left. But I really need to see Christine right now. I'll be back. I, uh, it could take a while, right? I'll wait outside. Huh, <laughs> as expected of a Shagney. So wild. This fucking mustache is great. Oh look, there they are. Oh, I've been waiting for this moment. 